Hi guys. Um, so the other day I put a post on that I was going to do a celebrity makeup look from the 1950s. Some people guessed correctly. Jodie, well done. <laughs> um, I don't look anything like her. I'll tell you who is in a minute. I don't look anything like her, so I'll put my hair like this because she's got short, bleach blonde, curly hair, which I haven't. So it is Marilyn Monroe. Um, I haven't even tried to do this yet. I've done my, what's the word? Research. I've done my research, but I haven't had a chance to actually try it out, so wish me luck. Also, I've got a really big spot here, and Marilyn Monroe did not have a big spot, so we're going to have to try and cover that up. I don't know if we're going to get any viewers on this, no one's interested. Oh, good. Um, I'll start anyway, and people can catch up later. So, first of all, I'm going to prime. Marilyn used to smother Vaseline on her face before she put on her foundation, which... I'm definitely not going to do because I've got a really greasy face and it will end up just disgusting. I really quickly put my hair in these rollers by the way so they're probably all going to fall out. So don't laugh if they do, I just wanted to look a little bit like her. So I've done a bit of research, hopefully we can make a look that's a bit like hers. I hope. I probably won't look anything like her because we just look completely different. But I thought it would be something fun to try out. By the way, my my boyfriend's sister's downstairs. And when she leaves, her dog goes mental. So if that happens, I'm really sorry. It's really embarrassing. But I couldn't have to wait any longer. So first of all, I'm going to try and cover my spot because it's just hideous. So I've got my... By the way, I just used our Glorious Face and Eye Primer. Can you see it? No, the light. Anyway, Glorious Face and Eye Primer. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. It's because I'm trying to look like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to use my Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. Because it is amazing. And it will cover my big ugly spot. And I'll put it under my eyes as well. I've lost the lid. Be long gone. So I'll just put a little bit of this on to start with. Hi Emma. People that are only just starting to watch, um, the look is Marilyn Monroe, which is why my hair is like this. Because my brown long hair is nothing like hers, so I thought this would look a little bit similar, I suppose. Because my face doesn't look anything like hers anyway. I haven't tried this out guys so don't laugh if it all goes wrong that's why I'm only I've only gone live in the group in case it all goes terribly wrong and then we can just laugh about it between ourselves and no one else will have to know <laughs> but we'll see I'll try it'll be fun so oh my god are you oh I feel famous <laughs> okay so Marilyn was quite pale so I've got my liquid foundation to use but I'm also going to mix it with my NARS foundation which is crap. I spent £32 on this and it's really runny and really pale and horrible so I just use it to mix with stuff now. So I'm going to mix it with my unique foundation to make my face a bit lighter just for this video. Have you Emma? Oh no. I haven't even practiced. I feel like it's, it could all go terribly wrong. Hi Emily and Jazz. Okay, so I'll put a bit of that on there and I'll squirt a bit of the NARS on there as well to make it a bit lighter. Like that. Get my face covered because it's hideous. I think all my rollers are going to start falling out. I've done it in like 10 minutes. I really want to make my dinner. Hey Harry! I haven't seen him yet, Emily, I need to come round. I put my nose on it to make this a bit paler, but I don't really think it's very pale. That spot won't go. I'm so embarrassed, I'm sorry about it. The lighting's quite bad as well. These rollers are going to get in my way. 
Jazz, I'm, I've got some chicken to use up. Ben's eating healthy with me as well. Oh, and I call him Harry. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. It's because I've not seen him yet. I need to put a name to a face. Okay, so I'm just mixing this in. I need to cover that spot again. I think that'll do for our base. Um, I need to put a bit more concealer on my spot, it's really embarrassing, I'm so sorry. Just a little tiny bit. It just won't go, it's been there for ages. Hey Ellie, you okay? This is my little blending bud, I love this. Okay, so, moving on. I get a bit carried away and I go really slow. I do this in the mornings and I'm nearly late for work. Look at this. Hold on a minute. I told you this would happen. Stupid. My Primark hair clips are really hard to use. Okay, so, moving on. Marilyn didn't powder her face very much. She didn't like it to be very matte. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of powder. Just a little bit. Of translucent powder this is. This is my NYX one that's running out. I'll show you it. Hold on. My favourite at the moment is translucent. Um, okay, so next, she liked to have a sort of heart-shaped face. So she only bronzed this, you know, cheekbones and down here. Just bring this bit in and keep the top bit a bit wider so she had more of a heart-shaped face. So I'm going to do that. I'm sure I'm going to look nothing like her after this, but it's all fun and games. My hair's falling out, look. Hello to everyone who's joined. She also had surgery on her nose to make it smaller and we all know that I haven't got a tiny nose so I'm going to have to try and contour it a little bit. And now I'm using a baked bronzer. Oh, you've got the same one, haven't you, Emma? Look at this. I knew that was going to uh, my baked bronzer is Laura Mercier one, which I quite like. Oh, thanks, Ellie. I like doing research. <laughs> okay, so that will do for the contouring. Apart from my nose, I'm going to use this little brush here. Although I just put my bronzer away. Try and make my nose look a little bit smaller, but it's never going to look as small as hers, is it? Let's be honest. It does work though. Just look, I've got a really dark nose. Then, where's my brush gone? I think Sean's coming up the stairs. I think she's sneaking. Okay, so after that, she blushed her cheeks along her cheekbone and above her eyebrows. So let's do that. My bit of hair keeps flopping down. It's really getting on my nerves. Can you hear my dog? He um he howls at the at the sirens, and then all the other dogs are going to join in. Okay, this blush is too pigmented for me. I can't deal with it. Okay, and that dog.
sorry. Okay, so she does it above her eyebrows a little bit. She also, oh, I needed to get out my, I wonder if I can find it. My highlighter. Oh. I always forget something. I like to keep getting everything out and prepare it. Oh no, there it is, I found it, I found it. So I'm gonna highlight with, what is it? Makeup Revolution, can you see that? Now she highlighted, what brush should I use? This one? For the, we use two different brushes, we use this one as well. So she highlighted either side of her nose by her cheeks. That roller, it's really annoying, okay. Because she liked quite the quite dewy look, especially under the lighting of when she was doing the films. I don't know if you can see that. I would, I would not personally. Storage full message. I wouldn't personally do this, but I'm not being me today. I'm being Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> uh, also highlighted the cheekbones, so I'm going to use my fan brush. I think my highlight was a bit too golden-y. Oh my lord. This lighting's really bad, you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for the face part. Now, what she used to do is she'd get eyelash extensions and just have put them in half. I don't have any today though, so I'm going to use my 3D eyelash mascara and just build it up on the outsides of my eyes. Actually, I need to do my eyeshadow in that first. Yes, let's do that first. So, I want a white base colour to go over my eyelid. So I'm going to use this, what is it? Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to use one of these light ones in the corner. I need to get my brushes up. So, let's go with this brush. This is a domed shadow brush. Oh, I should, probably should prime my eyes first. I'm going to use my Glorious Face and Eye Primer again. Put it underneath a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use a nice light colour. I need a white, really. I don't even have a white. And build that up to the eyebrow. Not very white at all. I wonder if I've got a white in my other palette. If I can get it out. My drawer, my makeup drawer is just rammed. Okay, what have we got in here? these to play with so I have a white so I'm gonna fill the whole eyelid with that should have put should have put my primer right up to the top doesn't matter Okay, so she put white all over her eyelid to open up her eyes. I need to put this somewhere now. Over there. Okay. Then I am going to... Disconnected. Disconnected. Are we back? Okay, then I need to do a brown eyeshadow in the crease. So I'm going to use this. This is my unique angled shadow brush. Yeah, it is, Emma. <laughs> Sorry, just ignore it. Um, 
Sean's meant to be going to do some exercise and she's ruining my video. I'm waiting for her to go though because Coco will just start barking and banging the door. Right, so we're going to put this in the crease. <laughs> she is down though, I'm not like babysitting. Okay, so I'm just building this on the outside of the eye to open it up. I know I've messed that up. Hi Flo, are you okay? I'm trying to do a Marilyn Monroe look and I just don't feel like it's going to go very well. I'm afraid. I cleaned up my brushes the other day. I need to, oh by the way, the eyeshadow I'm using right now is our Mood Struck Addiction 1 palette and it is shade Fortnite, this dark brown. They're really pigmented, so I need to practice with them. I miss you too, you should come down soon. Where do you live now? So you don't have to write it on here, you can message me if you want. <laughs> okay, so I'm just building this up in the crease, lifting it up slightly. Now one side darker than the other. I'm not very good at that, but that's the sort of thing she did. Then she used to do a winged eyeliner with brown eyeliner, not black. I don't have a brown eyeliner, so I'm going to try and sort of make my own. I've got this little tiny eyeliner brush. Oh my god, a Plymouth. I didn't realise it was that far away. Yeah, message me. Um, what was I saying? I've got this little eyeliner brush, so I'm going to dip it. Got a little pot of water. I'm going to dip it in my Fortnite colour that I was just using for my crease and try and make my own eyeliner. Try. If it work, if it doesn't work, we'll just use black. And I never ever use eyeliner, so it could all go terribly wrong. Okay, Emma. Bye. Have a nice flight. I'll see you Sunday. It sort of worked. Now, I think she's done quite... Hi, ma'am. <laughs> um, I think she's done quite a thin line over her eye. I'm quite impressed with this. I feel like a makeup engineer. Look at my highlight, how terrible that is. I would not have this for myself. Okay, then we want a flick. I've got 20% battery, oh my god. Can you see that? Can't see it for all my highlight, but that is a flick. My eyeshadow has gone really quite badly as well. I'm really sorry about that. Maybe I can maybe I'll be able to sort of rub it in. I don't think I'm very good at being Marilyn Monroe. Okay, so I'm going to get this a little bit wet and do the other side. It might have been a bit too wet.
I do this little wet brush look, I could do all sorts of colours for eyeliner and my palettes. Could have a go with that. Okay, I've got to try and make a matching flick now, and this lighting is really bad. Well, the other one went loads better. Okay, I think I'll leave the eyeliner there because before I mess it up. Now, what she also did... <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. I feel a little bit embarrassed. I feel like I look like an idiot. Um, what she also did was she... There's a little trick because she liked big eyelashes. She put a, a shadow under her bottom lashes so it looked like that her wear eyelashes were so thick that they were causing a shadow under her eye. It was actually brown eyeliner. So I'm going to try and do that. with the same colour, so I'm still using Fortnite on my Moodstock Addiction Shadow Palette. Uh, and I think it sort of went under here. Can you even see? I'm sort of, I think that's all right. So it looks like, can you see it? There. So it looks like it's sort of a shadow from my eyelashes. Not that I've got my eyelashes on yet, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, so I'll just try and match that on the other side. It's always all right doing one side, then you try and do the other side and it all goes terribly wrong. Gone. They're different. Okay. Hi Jodie, you're right by the way, it's Marilyn Monroe. If you you probably can't tell, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I've got my hair and rollers and everything for this. Um so I've sort of made the shadow underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm quite impressed with that actually. Um she also put white eyeliner. So there's a little triangle shape you make between your shadow and your flick. She put oh, I've still got still got pink on it from when I did my ombre lips. If you want to watch that, it's on my profile. You are Jodie, well done. <laughs> uh, so she puts white here to help brighten up her eyes. like so, and along the lower lash line. I feel like this has taken shape now. Okay, I'm really sorry about that light that keeps getting in the way. Um, now, one I think is a little bit weird, so I'm just gonna use, if I've got it, I don't know where it is. I was going to use it. Ah, so she puts red in the corners of her eyes to, to brighten her eyes up. I don't have a red pencil. So I was going to use this lip liner, but it's not very red at all. Doesn't really come out. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, we won't do that, but she does put red there. Right, next up, I think I'll do the eyelashes. So like I said before, she used eyelash extensions and cut them in half so she got the feathery effect on the ends. Hey Chantel, you're right. I was wondering when you were coming along. Um, I haven't got any eyelash extensions so I'm going to use my 3D Fire Blush Mascara and just build it on the sides. I hope. Everyone usually knows that I'm really slow at this so I'll try not to take too long. And my rollers are getting in the way. Bear with me a minute. 
My rollers are really getting in the way. These aren't going to be the best eyelashes in the world, by the way, guys. I'm just going to warn you now. I'm trying. But this whole thing is in my way. And I'm not very good at my eyelashes anyway. Yeah, you can watch it again later. This wasn't very good. Oh, you can see, if you're wondering why my face is all shiny like this, I put highlighter on my cheeks. I was meant to. I did it on purpose. So you can imagine she had really nice big fan lashes. Just on the edge. I just shoved the rollers in Kimberly. I was like, <laughs> when I got in, that's why they were flopping all over the place. It was just dry. I'm debating on leaving them in overnight and just seeing what happens. I didn't even brush my hair. This bit, see, just flopping out. Yes, Chantal, sorry, I, I did say it earlier, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to leave my eyelashes like that, so you can sort of see, they're long at the ends and I've made my little pretend shadow, so it looks like they're really long. Sort of. If I had eyelash extensions, it would probably look a bit better. My connection is weak. I'm sorry if I'm going all over the place. Sorry, guys. Also, I had low battery earlier. I hope it doesn't fail on me now while I'm right near the end. I quite like this look, you know. I might take a picture at the end for you, but... We'll see what it looks like. Okay, I'll put some a little bit more fibres on and then we don't have to watch me do this anymore. I like that. Nice eyelashes. I did get it a little bit on my eye. As, as I was saying that, I've got more on there. I was just about to say I got a little bit on my eyelid. Now I've got a lot on there. Um, try and get him short. Okay, so eyes hasn't haven't gone as bad as I thought they would actually. So what you do, guys, you research. Thanks, Kimberly. Okay, so eyes done. Eyebrows. Now, as part of her little heart-shaped face that she liked to do, her eye, uh, mine are a bit too arched over here but she had more of an arch in the sort of middle so I'll try and give it a go I want to spill my little pot of water uh, where's my eyebrow brush okay um, I'm gonna use a lighter brown because her eyebrows are a bit lighter than mine and mine are toned <laughs> I hate this this whole highlighter situation Right, okay, so I'm going to sort of try and bring my arch forward. I wonder if that's possible. They were quite thin at the front. Thanks, Lorna. I, you should go back and watch my first one. I was there like, oh my God, I've got no viewers. 
So now I just sort of talk to myself and hope people might join in one day. That, I'm gonna leave my eyebrow at that. It doesn't look amazing, but I just tried to sort of bring my arch forward a little bit so you can see that she gets a sort of triangle look. Sorry about the dog barking, just ignore it. Uh, I'm trying to do the same again here. Very strange looking eyebrows. They're actually odd. Sorry about this. Okay. I'm not going to go overboard with the eyebrows because mine are too different, but they sort of go in a triangle shape like this to make her, her face look more heart-shaped. So we'll leave that there. Then, lips. She wore five colours on her lips to make them look big and voluptuous. I don't actually have five red colours. So I've managed to find three. I've lost one. One, uh -huh, one being my... Pompous lip liner. I think I've been going through this without barely telling you what the products are, so I'm really sorry about that. So I'm going to start by lining my lips. This needs sharpening. Hopefully, it doesn't go flat on my way through. Uh, she went slightly over the line of her top lip. My lip liner's running out. This isn't very much of a red colour either, I'm sorry. I don't have much reds. What you do is just build and build and build the colour. And then put a lip gloss over the top. I've got this number seven deep rust. So wax some of that on. I don't even think all these colours go. loads on. She did put five layers on so I might as well put loads of layer on as, layers on as well. Okay and I might just stick my lip stain over the top and see what happens because that's very dark. I like that. I don't know how it would dry though on top of all this. Oh. Do I look like her yet? <laughs> Um, then what she also done is she put a white colour on the on her bottom lip so it sort of looked more shiny when she was under the camera. Thanks, JD. <laughs> um, so I'm, I've got my eye pigment in the colour Sexy, which I'm going to just dab onto my bottom lip. It might be a little bit much. Oh, that looks quite nice. I like doing that. Everyone needs one of these eye pigments. Put on your lips. It just looks really nice. So, lips are done. Then, 
let's not forget that she had a beauty spot. Now, I was doing my research, and obviously with the different camera, camera angles and stuff, I couldn't work out which side it was on. I think it was her left, which is going to look like my right to you guys, but I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it this side. What side do I put it? Should I put it this side so it looks... Hmm. I don't know. See, this is the this is the issue I had. Where's my little one I use for my eyeliner? I'm gonna put it this side because I think it is the left. So I'm getting my little eyeliner brush. Yeah, I've got the eye pigments, Kimberly. I'll message you afterwards. Uh, I'm wetting my little eyeliner brush again, and I'm going back to my. Unique eyeshadow palette with Fortnite. Because I don't think I need to do black, do I? Or should I do it in black? Maybe I'll just do it in my black eyeliner. So you can all see it. So I have my Unique Moodstruck Precision Precision Pencil Eyeliner. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it, Jodie? I did it in my ombre video the other day. Okay, I think, shall I stick it here? Yes. Is that right? Oh, the dog's crying. Thanks, Ellie. I got my black liner out. I think that's big enough. Okay, so I'm sorry about that light. I think that's everything, you know. Let me just check my notes. Hang on a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've done it now. I think I've finished. So, this is my Marilyn Monroe makeup look. I've sort of done the hair with it so you can see it as more of a finished look. Because I'm not blonde and I don't have short curly hair. But, look at that highlight. But, that's it. Maybe I'll take a picture in a minute if I don't feel too embarrassed. I think it sort of looks alright. But, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, I'm just blurring on now. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching. Kimberly, I'll send you a message in a minute. If anyone else has got any questions about anything else I use, just let me know. Uh, and that's it. So thank you very much. Bye. Got a clip finished now. This happens every time.